Welcome to the Messy Mind Podcast, a show to support you in seeing that messiness can lead to your light bulb moments. I'm your host, Tammy L. Davis. About a week ago, I shared a post on LinkedIn and the post or the title of the post was Know Your Worth. And I had said in that post that there might be a podcast episode on this one. And here I am really wanting to focus on knowing your worth. Now, like I said on LinkedIn, historically, when we as small business owners, you know, hear this, we immediately want to think of price, you know, the cost of doing business with our company, you know, how much are our services going to be? And when I say know your worth, in addition to knowing your rate or what the cost is of doing business with you, I'm also referring to or what also gets to be included is contract terms. So it's important to remember that cost is just one hurdle and it is critical for us to know our worth as we're reviewing contract terms. So let me just give you a little background as to why I shared this post and why I want to expand on this episode. I had been in contact or in negotiations with a system integrator. This is a fairly large prime in the Washington, D.C. area, and they wanted to procure our services as a subcontractor for a local municipality. This municipality is going through a transformation municipally wide, I want to say. I don't even know if that's a word, but I'm going to say it. And it is all centered around a system. They're in the process of a multi-phase system implementation that is going to affect their entire workforce along with their suppliers and their customers. So because one of the services we provide and really enjoy doing is organizational change management, the system integrator, the prime, would focus on the implementation and we would focus on the people not only introducing them to the new way that they're going to do business, but supporting them with uh, engagement, adoption, and sustainment of using these new tools. We had initially talked and, you know, we discussed rate and we negotiated on the rate and we had been given a tentative start date. So we just needed to go through the formalities of, you know, background checks and now it's time to review the sub contract agreement. When I get the agreement, I'm looking through the terms and everything looks good until we get to the payment section. And of the payment section, it had said that it would be paid when get paid. That basically means that we would not get paid until the prime got paid from the municipality. So you might be thinking, oh, municipality, you know, they have their funding, you know, such as the federal government guaranteed payment, let's just say, but they're implementing new processes and systems for a reason. Processes within municipalities, depending upon the size and the municipalities, can be very antiquated. I mean, they're going through a digital innovative transformation just like any other sector within this country. However, it's still antiquated. And there are times in which municipalities, they don't pay on time because of their antiquated processes that, again, they are in the process of transformation. So at this particular point, I'm looking at the contract and I'm saying, okay, paid when get paid. Well, when could that be? It could be a net 60. It could even be a net 90, even if we get paid at all. So this is where the buck stopped. I had asked for, because typically our contract terms are net 30. Sometimes we've stretched to a net 45. There was one engagement when, now we were the prime on this engagement, that we actually went net 60. So depending upon the situation, we will extend our payment terms. However, it has to be a very special situation. It, It gets to be a very special, unique industry. I'm not saying that our clients are not special because each one of them is. However, in this particular case, in working with a new prime and working with a new municipality, I wanted to focus on our typical contract terms. And I stretched it and stated after I revised it or actually reviewed it, I went back and I said, 
I notice these payment terms are paid when you get paid as a small business owner. That is not going to work for us. These are our payment terms. I'm willing to stretch it to net 35. We're going back and forth and we couldn't reach an agreement. I knew my worth to the contract terms and I had a decision to make to walk away. Either I can accept these terms and cross my fingers that we get paid in a timely manner or I could say, you know what? I know my worth. These are our standards. This is what I'm willing to compromise by stretching our payment terms. However, this is what I'm going to focus on. And we could not come to an agreement. And I walked away from the deal. I walked away from the opportunity. And one thing that I wanted to emphasize is that when you know your worth, you will stay firm. Now, again, there's aspects of that you might be willing to compromise. Like I was willing to compromise. I was willing to go from net 30 to net 35. Be willing to compromise if it's in your best interest. However, above all, do not force something that's not aligned with your worth. And I has even said in the LinkedIn post period, if it is not in your best interest and you know your worth, then do not force something that is not aligned with what you think, you believe that you know was going to work for you. So I just wanted to come on and share this friendly reminder, especially to my small business owners, that you are worthy. You get to have a peace of mind when it comes to your worth. And just because one door closes doesn't mean that the opportunities will not come. Again, align with your worth. I want to leave you with this quote that I had found from Teeny Edwards, and it says, know your worth. You must find the courage to leave the table if respect is no longer being served. Have the peace of mind by knowing and operating within your worth. Thank you for joining us this time on the Messy Mind Podcast. Please visit our website at themessymindpod.com. Make sure to subscribe to the podcast so you'll never miss an episode. While you're at it, if you found value in this episode, we'd appreciate a rating on Apple Podcasts or simply tell a friend about the show. Always remember to embrace the messiness. It can lead to your light bulb moments.